Hello and uh, welcome today. So I'm here to present you the new K600 TV keyboard. Uh, so as you know at Logitech we empower people to work at their desk but also in their home office and today in the living room. Um, so you might know this product today that is on the market called the K400. The K400 was launched six years ago for PC to TV users. People wanted to bring the smartness of their TV to uh, of their PC to their TV. So they were using, as you can see, a PC connected to the TV and using a keyboard to interact from the comfort of their couch. We have about 15% 15, 15 of US people in households that are using a keyboard to do PC to TV. So this is about 50 million people in US, just in US. In France, we're counting about 14%. Today, TVs are smart. TV uh, have embedded internet browser and embedded apps that you use to watch YouTube, Netflix, or other uh, devices. So we wanted to bring a newer device that allows people to use their favorite apps and also search in the web browser. So this is the imagery we have today. So you can sit back, relax, and enjoy the full power of your TV with the help of one device. I am now going to show you how it works. So, I can go easily in the web browser. So, today with a remote control, how you move, it's a XY movement. So it's not as intuitive as it would be with a touchpad. The touchpad is here optimized for my Samsung TV because I do a setup. So I can simply move at the top. I can tap to select. I can click to select as well. And I can type very seamlessly k600setup.logi.com. And this would allow you to set up your keyboard for your device. So you can set up your K4, uh, K600 TV with a website called k600setup.logi.com. And you can see that when you click Get Started, it automatically detects what TV you're on. You can also see that uh, it's compatible with LG, Samsung Smart TVs, but also Android Smart TVs such as Sony and Philips. So when I select it here, you see that I get a code called function plus four. So when I do function plus four, you will see that the LED on my keyboard lights up and it's a confirmation. So it confirms I did the setup correctly. So it even tells you on the TV. And I am set up for my Samsung TV. Then um, we explain to users compatibility. So you can see that for TV menu, where we were earlier, you can use the D-pad to move as a grid system. So is it something that will allow you to move into grid systems such as in YouTube? Because the cursor control works in the web browser for Samsung TVs. You can see as well compatibility for the YouTube, Netflix, Amazon Prime videos. Simply because we know that quite a lot of users do want to be able to type in those. So for example, in Netflix, it does work. Samsung is currently not supporting text entry in YouTube. This is something we're working on. Uh, but otherwise, it does work quite well in Spotify too. Then you get a confirmation and information about what each key does on your TV. So for example, instead of doing the two finger scroll, you can do function and one finger scroll in web browsing. Simply that's allowing you to sit down and relax on your couch. We also added what the TV settings. So let's say you are watching a movie and you want to change the colors. You can simply pause. So you have the media keys here. You can pause your movie and go directly to your TV settings and change the colors or even the sounds to match your, your movie you're currently watching. So this is also a Bluetooth keyboard. Uh, with Logitech, 
we have what we call the Logitech Unifying Receiver. So this is the one we currently have today. So it's 10 meter range. And today with the K400, K600 TV, you get a brand new receiver that is 15 meters, simply because um, living room space are very crowded with noise, with Wi-Fi, with connectivity, uh, with an iPad or a computer. But you can see on the image here that right now I'm connected on number one. So I have that little LED here on my TV and I'm connected using Bluetooth to my PC. So simply, uh, let's say you get an email during a movie, you can pause your movie, switch without going to your PC or anything. You can switch it here, enter your password and answer an email at the touch of a button. And we explain you here how to do uh, the setup for a, a Bluetooth device as well. Um, and of course you have to do the function plus number to be able to set it up for your system. So this keyboard has seven different firmwares and each are on one number. So the function and number de uh, determines this. Also, why is it important to do this number is that it unlocks the full possibility of those shortcuts. So now that I did the setup, I can easily press on the home button and then get to my smart TV home. I use the D-pad to move around and I can easily select Netflix and I'm there. Today with the remote control, to search for a movie, you simply have to move around, which can be quite painful. Today, we made a keyboard that stands nice on your lap. You don't need to squeeze, it stands nice on the lap and you can type very seamlessly a movie. So in, in a split of seconds, you can very easily select the movie or even look for a trailer from a friend might have uh, told you, oh, play this movie, and you will see it is uh, very seamlessly and quickly reachable instead of using the remote control. So I'm in Netflix and I can easily pause. I can pause the movie I'm in. I can do fast forward and of course backward, and I can even control my TV volume. Why? Because again, I did this setup of my keyboard. If I do not do the setup, I will not be able to use all these keys for my TV. This is why it is quite important to do them today. I have a back button, so I am back in the, in the menu, or I can simply go back to the TV menu, and let's say, I'm sure a lot of you use uh, YouTube, oops, use YouTube, or you can simply go on Google Play Movies as well. It works across different apps. Of course, if the app supports the keyboard. So let me show you um, Net, uh, YouTube. So we have to understand that the TV manufacturers and uh, YouTube are two very different entities. So everything the TV develop developer creates and uh, the app developer, they don't necessarily talk to each other, which explains why today with the K600 TV, you cannot type, uh, but you can use the D-pad. Hence why we designed this keyboard to have a D-pad here. It is way more comfortable to sit back and relax and use the D-pad here, than going all the way back down here. So you can type using the D-pad. So, so for example, this is what it is with a Samsung TV. This is the one that has the most limitations. On LG, there is a cursor that is everywhere on the TV. So you can simply use a cursor to select the letters a bit quicker than the D-pad. Then you might think, how do you know if my TV is compatible or not? So we created a website called tvcheck.logi.com where it helps you to know uh, if your TV is compatible or not. Oh.
So here it is. This is where you get all the information about the TVs. So you can see I'm scrolling with two fingers, but I can easily press F and, and one finger to scroll. So it's allowing people to be a bit more comfortable in the way they use it. Um, so you can see here what smart TVs we're compatible with. So there is Samsung, LG, Sony, Bravia and Philips. And let's say you have a Sony Bravia, you can simply click on it and it will bring you directly to the information you're looking for. So it's really based on the model number. So we claim compatibility with TVs from 2016 and over. Um, and you can, of course, check app compatibility depending on uh, what you're more familiar with. If you're more familiar with YouTube, we do advise you to check it out. So let's say you want to check for YouTube. Um, Sony, Bravia and Philips do support text entry. Um, and then you have, of course, a lot of information. Uh, let's say Netflix. So you can see that Netflix supports typing in every app, in every TV. Uh, and LG allows you the cursor. So Samsung allows the cursor on the web browser, but LG allows it in every app. Um, yeah, then that was it for my, uh, my uh, video today, presentation. So this keyboard is 12 months battery life. Um, it has two AAA batteries. Uh, and you can also store your receiver here if you don't want to use it or if you want to store it safe instead of having it in your TV. Um, so it's very simple. It is 500 grams and it is easy to grab in your hands. And if you're watching anything, you can store it flat face down and pressing it won't do anything. So let's say you have kids around, um, you want to watch your movie and you don't want to be disturbed, you can easily turn it upside down and uh, not being bothered by uh, any miss pressing. Yes, it is on sale for 79 euros uh, here in Germany and it has been announced today. <laughs>